Engineer 775 here at Anaheim Convention Center for the RE Plus Solar Show, Solar Convention. My goal here is to, to kind of seek, seek out the solution for load management. We're also looking at the latest, greatest generator solutions. And then we're also always up for any surprises, any new technology, any partnerships we can establish, do some networking, catch up with folks that I haven't seen in a while. Load management is my main goal here. There's a lot of different companies doing load management, and so that's what I'm here for. So come along for the ride. Hey folks, I'm here at the Lumen booth. You can see some of these awesome displays. I want to talk to you about the Lumen. I'm not certified, and I'm not a certified installer yet, but I hope to be. Talk to the folks here on how the Lumen panel works. So take a look at the Lumen panel. So the Lumen panel, what I'm, for most of our customers, I'm trying to figure out how, this thing is always looking for a grid, but in a lot of our systems, we do not have grid, right? We're running the whole place. So you can trick the Lumen panel into being live all the time. So this is one that we're seriously considering. Solark endorses them, and they also have a new add-on. They're gonna do each, they're gonna do um, individual load shaving modules that will go to their hub. And that I believe the individual modules will also work with a Lumen panel. So anyway, just trying to get up the speed on Lumen. Lumen start was our first stop in load management, and we're gonna go check out some others. But I'm definitely probably gonna get my hands on a Lumen panel. It works really well from what Solark says. And until Solark has their panel ready, this is probably what we're gonna try. All right, we're on to the next. Okay, we're at the Savant booth now. This one's pretty awesome. Check out these modules. These modules can snap into any standard electrical panel. They make them for Eaton. They make BR breakers. I think this is a home, home line. They fit anything. So it works with your existing panel. Each module can take two circuits. This is a example. There's a double pole 60, double pole, double pole 30, double pole 30 here. And so what's nice is they all work with a director. And there's two different levels of the director. I think there's director light. So what I want to do is start with uh, a few modules. And there, then you can hook one of these modules and put CTs. See the CTs around the mains? So you can monitor your overall power consumption through their really cool app. And then you can uh, load shave the, uh, the double 30s, the double 40s, double 60s. I'm usually looking for about six circuits to load shave out of it. So Savant it looks like the way to go. So we're gonna we're, we started our onboarding process. We look forward to being able to install this, sell it, and uh, it's just a value added to our our customer systems. Uh, the main thing is with the existing battery and inverters, you don't have to keep adding battery or stacking inverters potentially if you can do proper load management. So Savant Power Systems, check it out. And SPAN is another alternative for load management. They've been around for quite a while, I think since 2018 possibly. So they have their complete automated panels. They always have this demonstration at all the solar shows. From what I gather, it's the most difficult to install. I could be wrong, but that's what I keep hearing from everybody else. And uh, again, they have their Inflation Reduction Act justification. They're basically saying that you $4,000 uh, available for the span panel and $2,500 rebate for the installation if you qualify. So I don't know what the qualifiers are. Some percentage of median income based on which state you live in. So span, check out span for load management. But for me, it's either going to be Lumen or it's going to be Savant to try next. But span has been around for a while. So until Solar comes out with theirs, I'm going to be trying, trying to span, span system. I can't go to a solar show without stopping by the water pumping booths. It's just a weakness that I have, but anyway.
cool little Briggs and Stratton Simplify 3D video they made. So a lot of the generator companies um, here, obviously Briggs is going for it, Generac has tried to do it, uh, Kohler is also doing it. So Briggs is making or having made their own inverter. Some other companies are buying other inverters and white labeling them. And uh, so Briggs, it, I'm really impressed with the Briggs so far. It looks awesome. Okay, last day at the show. Engineer 775 here, met a lot of people, caught up with some familiar faces. And we've got about five more hours of RE Plus to be able to hang out, talk to folks. And I know there's like three or four I haven't caught up with. We're gonna to try to do that today. Then do a little recap of what we learned, what we saw, and some new tech, and some just some good ideas and uh, other opportunities we have found here at RE+. Always gotta, every other year at least, get out to one of the big solar shows and uh, just enjoy. You find out all sorts of things. Just never know. We found out, like, this company, for instance, is headquartered in San Diego, but it's also got a branch in Greenville, South Carolina, right next to us. So it's just good to get out and see what's going on. All right, I keep coming back to, you know it, Solark. I'm at the Solark booth, and they debuted their new, they have a 30K three-phase and a 60K three-phase. It looks like the size of a 15K, a little bit bigger cabinet. So that is impressive. We might be getting into some um, light commercial this year, and this is gonna be our go-to, all-in-one, three-phase, 30 and 60 K. There's a 208 three phase for the 30 K and 60 K is 480. So they also have the, the 5 K they're debuting the 5 K here. You'll see that on our website. Um, talking about pricing and bringing that pricing down. This little guy works really, really well. Their load management, unfortunately, is not ready yet. I think they're look, shooting for second quarter of, of May. And uh, so I bugged these guys the first day. And uh, I don't know about their, their, charge, their car charger. So they have a lot of partners, Stores and Fortress and Discover and MK and, and Savant, which is what I'm really interested in. So just here in the Solar booth and uh, catching up with the guys is always good. But I went around to see if I could find a rival. I have it. They also have their uh, micros. They can do four panels or, or two panels. The micro inverters aren't out yet, but they will be shortly. So just having fun, nerding out, looking at all the cool tech, but uh, nothing really rivals from what I can see see but there's a lot of people say they do but uh they're gonna get caught soon enough but they they're very innovative very creative keep adding new products and no they didn't pay me to say that so we'll pick up some more and pick up some information on 60. oh it's the oh they're out so all right elijah's still helping me figure out what we're doing what are we what is this one i didn't even see this oh they have their own little optimizer now interesting interesting so we'll check that out talk to them about that all right folks that's about it from solar hey folks we're wrapping this up this is the last day closing in about five minutes of uh, re plus we found a place to sit down we've been walking for three and a half days through every booth torturing this kid you learn anything elijah yes yeah <laughs> right answer anyway we've had fun uh, looking at all sorts of energy solutions. We've had uh, a lot of good conversations, met some cool folks, and saw some cool products. Again, my goal was to see all the load management solutions, load shaving, and I think we have some we're gonna try to start implementing. We're always looking at other inverters, batteries. There's too many choices. There's just too many choices out there. So sorting through that, I know I've made a lot of contacts. I'll be getting a lot of emails, a lot to sort through after spending um, four days at a solar conference. Um, I saw a lot of integrated 
inverters with battery cabinets and I I don't like any of them they're they're impossible to wire I don't know why they I think once one company started they all followed it's more of a marketing gimmick to me but um, having your battery separate your inverter separate is the way to go I don't see the integrated products working very well in terms of being able to retrofit any home uh, so stay tuned for products and hopefully the relationships I um, started off here will turn into some more product reviews and um, you know I'm kind of partial to Solark I didn't see anything here that could touch it uh, the 15k that is out there not a maybe a good we could give it a little bit of run for the money but not not really so um, so it, it's a uh, it was a good show um, just really had uh, a good time seeing a lot of folks and it's great traveling with my new travel partner Elijah they kicked him out today because uh, you're supposed to be 18 to come into the exhibit hall <laughs> he's 15 and then we said but well, he's been in here all week so when they have free beer in the afternoons and I think that's why but she she just uh, she finally let us in but that was kind of funny Get kicked out of the kicked out of a solar show nerd convention so he saw some cool stuff we exposed him to a lot of technology he's ready to go home we had a great tr time traveling now it's time to get a get on the plane all right this is engineer 775 signing out